Hello and welcome to Nintendo Bytes. This is a nice little show from Player 2 where we talk about all the fancy Nintendo things when Nintendo feels like gracing us with information. Wonderful. <laughs> My name is Duck McGavin and I will be your host, moderator, and or whatever today. I'm joined today by Map Killer. What's up everybody? Thanks for joining us. And first things first, as you can see, we are talking about the Super Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Super something or other. <laughs> it's a really long name, but basically, Nintendo's coming out with the SNES. I like calling it the SNES. The SNES. The SNES. The SNES. The SNES. <laughs> it's like a sneeze. <laughs> like, I, I, my favorite console was the SNES. Excuse me. <laughs> but anyway, we got 20 games coming out on it, which is pretty cool. And it comes with two controllers that are both five feet as 21. opposed to two feet. 21 games. 21, 21 games? That was 20 games. No, it's 21. I'm looking right at it. Apologies. Yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah. I'm super excited for it. I don't know if I'll get it, because I'm probably... Because a lot of these games... Only, there's only one game. That's the freaking catch bull nonsense. Is what we get the best game ever. Well, not the best game ever, but the best game that they're offering is um, Star Fox 2. An unreleased game. Well, a unofficially well. released game. I don't know if that's the best game. I mean, there's literally some of the well, best I mean, games that are made in Well, I mean, is the game group? that they are most likely to be banking on selling these consoles? Because the only way to play Star Fox Earthbound. 2 up until now was... Well, yeah. Um, but how many people got a copy of Earthbound around playing it? Granted, but Dude. they actually <laughs> exist out there. <laughs> they do. They do. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> I mean, Star Fox 2, I mean, it came out in Japan, though, didn't it? <clears throat> no, it literally never came out. It got oh, really? finished. Never came out in Japan either? It oh, got I thought finished. It came out in Japan. And then oh. they didn't release it because they were afraid that their 3D graphics weren't going to look as good because, you know, it was on the SNES compared to oh, yeah. the Sega and the PlayStation that had just recently come out. Yeah. So instead of making their 3D not look as good because older system, because they were going to yeah. be doing um, Mario 64. I did a little bit of research before this. Just like, ah. But, so they um, just kind of scrapped it because Mario was like, "Yeah, we got you on 3D polygons." Yeah, yeah. They wanted to make they wanted to make their first four four A into the 3D realm to look yeah. good with Mario. Put uh, the rest I understand forward, that right? a little, but they were they did pretty good competing with uh, PlayStation with like Donkey Kong Country when it first came out, though. You know, like Donkey Kong Country had really good graphics, like way better than you'd seen on Super Nintendo up until then. It was like, you know, they were really smoothed out like graphics. So I mean, it was you know, so there was a lot of there was a lot of things that uh, oh, yeah. they tried to compete. The Super Nintendo also had, like, it had some uh, different things that made a lot of their games faster. It had little chips that they put in. I forget what they called it back then. Mode 7, I think it was called. Sounds familiar. Yeah, and it made, that's why, like, the racing games were always, like, 60 frames per second. Because, like, was, you know, the thing they put in there. So, I don't know. Well, it I could like, compete. You know, so, Contra 3, that game ruined so much of my life. <laughs> why? Because I played it to freaking hell. I don't think I've played that one as much as the other ones. And then Donkey Kong Country, Country a game that I literally have never beaten. I've awesome. played them so oh, much really? Donkey Kong. Because, well, the only time I ever got to play it was at yeah. my friend's house. Oh, okay. And whenever I'd go over, it would be like, all right, you get to play it whenever I die. He wouldn't die. <laughs> oh, damn. That sucks. My but friend man, was, was a dick. I don't know. It was, you know... He must it have was a hard sometime, game. It wasn't. It wasn't easy. He played the hell out of it. <laughs> he was like, he was dying, and then he was like, "Nah, I got five more lives." That's what that was. Now, Mega Man <laughs> X, however, is a game I played a lot of. I love Mega Man's games so much. Yeah, Mega Man's are good. And Mighty Number no. Nine made me so sad. <laughs> I didn't funny. actually buy it because I was waiting for reviews. Because the second I saw, I was like, "Why is it 3D?" Like, I just kind of wanted 2D, just regular 2D, just sprites. I kind of like sprites. That's awesome. Like I with, owned a lot of these games, honestly. Now with all the top with ones. Um, Samus Returns coming out, I don't mind that being 3D. I mean, 2D sprites would have been fine with me, but it being 3D, it's whatever. Well, you know, they wanted to make a little upgrade since it was a Game Boy, you know, game. So, which speaking of classics, what about a Game Boy classic? That would be awesome. Yeah, think about that. A little Game Boy classic packed with like a hundred games or something, because they could put a lot on that sucker. Oh yeah. Honestly, I think they'd probably make more bank on the Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance had a crazy catalog, at least as far as for yeah, me. Yeah, it did. It did. It did have a lot, but I don't. I don't know. Well, I guess they could. They would do that too, maybe. But I think they would do Game Boy first, just because oh, yeah, Game Boy was like their first like 
you know, even though it is black and white, which would kind of be a hard sell now. I just know I had a lot more games for my Game Boy Advance than I did for my Game Boy. Then again, I was much younger yeah. when Game Boy yeah. came out. I was still pretty darn young, so I didn't. I had Tetris on my Game Boy, Pokemon mm -hmm. Yellow, because I yeah. begged and begged, and it was like, I, I need, Pika <laughs> I need Pikachu. You don't understand? No, you don't understand. I need Pikachu, please. <laughs> Pika, Pika. <laughs> and my mother and my grandmother had a fight on whether or not it was animal abuse and whether or not I should be allowed to have it. And then my grandmother animal got it from abuse. me in secret. Oh man! <laughs> my grandmother was like, "Hey, not I animals, got you this. Monsters. Don't tell your mom. <laughs> Just hide it and don't let her know what it is." Should have you should have you should have told them they're monsters, mom. They're not animals. They're so monsters. I don't know where it is anymore because you know after moving a whole bunch in storage, what I did yeah. is when I had my Pikachu cartridge because you know bright yellow Pikachu cartridge. Yeah. Yeah. I sharpied it black, so my mom wouldn't know. That's so awesome. somewhere out there, there is a black cartridge where someone's going to find, possibly, because I have Someone somewhere. Someone's going to get it one day and said, why the fuck would they put black fucking all over this damn thing? And it was not even nice know what it is. going to put in the Game Boy. It's like, Pikachu. <laughs> uh, it'll be the last copy of the Pikachu game. could be worth millions. And I hadn't played it for so long. The second it came to DS <laughs> for the Virtual Console, I jumped on that so, so quick. That's crazy. It's been so long since they've had a Pokemon game come out where you can actually have Pokemon follow you. I don't know why they don't do that anymore. It makes oh, no well. sense. Hey, the Pokemon Go, they can follow you. You got a buddy. Mm, yeah, but I mean, I'm talking <laughs> about like mainline series. Oh, I know, I know. I just, I just put it out there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> but anyways, back to the Super NES Classic. These game lists is really good, man. I mean, these are it's all It's basically they all the best classics. that aren't from um, Square. I mean, that is the best, probably. I mean, it's arguable, but it's it's the best Final Fantasy oh, yeah. game ever made. The only right things there. like our license games, like Chrono Trigger, is not on there, which is yeah, you know. But that Final Fantasy is the best one right there. It's oh, yeah. between that one and Seven. It's always been the best. But I think that one's got the edge on it and more characters. I thought you and... liked Six, not Seven. Yeah, Three, which is Six. Yeah, but you said Seven. I'm just. I want to make and sure no, no, everyone I said, knows, because I, no, I know I said, you said you like no, 6. I said I like 3 and 7. Those are my two favorites. That's what I was saying. Uh, but like I think I 6, you said 6 is better. Then. Oh, 6 yes, is better. Yes, I did. Okay. 6 is better, okay. but okay. I do like 7. They're the two my two favorites. Don't, I, do so like I, I don't want anyone to get confused <laughs> and think that Which you like 7 more than Final 6. Which does say Final Fantasy 3 still. Why are they going to put it as Final Fantasy 3, though, here in the, in the lettering? I understand how it was released. Because that's the original U.S. cover. Yeah, I know, but that's, you know... They've already went back to the original numbering, even for U.S. Let's that confuse people more. <laughs> like it's Final Fantasy three. No, it's not. Six. What? <laughs> to be fair, most people when they were kids back then, they just knew it was a Final Fantasy. The number really didn't matter. That's true, because we didn't get many of them anyway. Yeah. I mean, hell, we only got uh, what four, six, and one. Because like then? the ones that were released in America, <laughs> you like you got one, two, three. And then all of a sudden, the PlayStation comes out. Seven. seven. You're like, what? So, um, <laughs> I don't know if you know Square, but there's a lot of numbers between those. Uh, yeah, I know, right? It was confusing as hell when it first uh, yeah. happened. I was like, what is going on? Why are they at Final Fantasy VII? Oh, yeah, I, all these games. I played two right, and man. three, and then I went to nine. I, oh, man, that's, I, a, that's a super big jump. Yeah. <laughs> and then I went back and played seven years later. That's awesome. I did it one, two, or you know, you know, one, two, three, the Americans, and then seven, and then I jumped back and I did some of the ones in between. Once I figured out there was like I got emulators and I yeah. and I played them that way with like translated, uh, you know, text files and stuff, and I played the, all the old ones that way, and then caught up with that, and then I played all of them in succession since then. Did you ever get good at Punch Out? I suck at I punch loved out. punch out. Yes, I was it was fun out. to play, but I was I so bad. It. No, you just well, it's all about learning the moves and timing. It's kind of like almost like Dark Soul fighting, where as long as you know the moves, you know how to, you know what I mean, know how to dodge and counter. Number me had right no time. rhythm. <laughs> yeah, no rhythm. You couldn't do the. This well, was you need Street Fighter where you could just mash the buttons. Else. <laughs> you need Street Fighter to mash the buttons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you have to have you had to have patience in Punch Out too. You couldn't just go in there swinging like crazy man. And try to win the fight. Like you just get your ass whooped every time that. And I know this might be an unpopular opinion. Super Mario Kart isn't my jam, to tell you the truth. Oh, Super Mario Kart's good though. Man. Like it wasn't until Mario Kart sixty four that I actually liked Mario Kart. Oh fuck that. That was one of the best ones, the Super One, Super Nintendo one. Sixty four was great too, but and yeah, that's what just... made Mario Kart right there. Come on, that's the first Mario Kart. Not for me. <laughs> 
the first one, dog. Well, to be fair, like the first one I played was 64. <laughs> I went back and played Mario okay. Kart. Okay. Well, that's why you weren't impressed later. with it. That's why you weren't impressed with it. Because the 64 was obviously light years ahead in graphics and everything. Well, the graphics is more the camera push. and the controls. Graphics, I don't really care about. Yeah. But I'm a stickler well, for good know. controls. And they got the controls so right on the 64 version, and they just iterated on it and iterated on it and iterated on it. Now we're on Mario Kart 8, and it's ridiculous, and people are complaining about having two items, which is like, just, what's wrong with oh, having more items? Awesome. I like more. The two items are awesome. They're tripping. It's fun. It's like Double Dash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I like that one dash. too. That was one of the funnest Mario Karts. That was a great one. <laughs> and then finally, I just want to quickly talk about okay, two things technically. Super Mario World. Love it. One oh. of the best games. Honestly, like I'm, I'm just I'm gonna say this again. Like playing Mario, just an original Mario is nice, but Super Mario World, that's where just like all right, all these ideas. We had a lot of ideas, but we couldn't quite do what we wanted with what we had with the mm -hmm. snes and its superior everything it's like we're just gonna make the game we want and this is what they wanted to make and it's an amazing well, game i don't mean well, you're kind of kind of short changing the first ones though because super mario brothers 3 was no, the like first one for its time one. was great i'm just yeah, saying well, it it was held back by a lot of the limitations of the system I guess. I think Super Mario Bros. 3 was the best one. I think Super Mario Bros. 3 is better than Super Mario World, honestly. Oh, yeah. And it had just as much. I'm just saying Super Mario World as... were really caught on. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I like 3 the best. 3 is my favorite. 3 is very good. <laughs> I think, my favorite. As far I mean... as Super Mario ones, I mean, maybe it's nostalgia, but my favorite is Super Mario Advance when it came out on the Game Boy Advance because that's the one I played the most out of all uh, the sides of like Mario. I like that one too, but... I played yeah. that one basically every day for two years straight. Just a little bit. Yeah. Every day. Just like a little jump. I hear that. I mean, F-Zero was one of my favorite racing games, you know, as far as these games here on this list. F -Zero Although I will admit, I want to... I don't quote me on this, because I don't remember. One of my favorite things to do with the original Mario for the um, NES was just the first level to see how fast I could get to the end. Just the first level. That's it. I just played this first level over and over and over, and I think I got down to, like, somewhere close to 30 seconds. Nice. And you should try to do the whole game like that, Doug. Be the first speedrunner. No, like that, that is the extent of my caring about speedrunning. One level, do it real fast, get real good at one level. The rest of that, that is way the too much work. The easiest level at that. The yes. easiest level. There's hardly anything that can kill yes. you at that level. Now Once you understand. So I did not want to put forth effort. Invincible. <laughs> it got uh, to the like point where I might as well jump that entire Koopa level. Chirpas, and you just miss the holes, and you're good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was great. And Super Metroid, I... though, Metroid, another game on this list. That was one. That was my favorite Metroid by far. Oh yeah, Super Metroid. Awesome. I'm super happy for. I yeah. love Super Metroid. Awesome. Love that. Linked. I mean, Zelda. That was you know my favorite Zelda until. And talk uh, about Arena box art. That out. box art right there with Ridley. Man. That is yeah. how you sell a game back then. Hey, all, all these box arts are nice. Look at these things. I'm not saying all they're not. Things. I'm just saying, like, well, good. you look at the original Zelda, and it is kind of boring in comparison to everything else. Well, yeah. Don't get me wrong. One of my favorite Zelda games. Yeah. Link to the Past. That's I, awesome. Correct me if did I'm you, wrong. Did Link you to the Past the is the one for... where once you get to the end, you realize, holy crap, this isn't the end. There's, like, two games in this game where you go to the Dark yeah. World. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That one threw well, me for a loop. That was the same feeling I had like in Castlevania where you have the upside down castle and I was just like, wait, no, I, I beat you. Stop this. <laughs> That's funny. I love and hate it when a game says like, like oh, you thought you were done. Nah. Yeah, nah. That's the great. I, I love, I always like that when that happens. They give you another playthrough or something. That always happens like, with Final Fantasy game where Mario. you think that this guy is the bad guy, but no. This guy is well, just yeah. a peon. The bad guy is well, way later. The original Mario kind of did that with after you beat it that first time you go back when you re, if you restarted it it had like uh, it had the little beetle guys instead uh -huh. of the Goombas in there. It scaled weird. up. <laughs> it was hard, <laughs> a lot harder than Goombas. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't have any fancy graphics for all our wonderful listeners. I apologize for the next thing, but um, I'll put a link in the description once I post this. Uh, we have a heavy article here talking about Overwatch and more streamed on a Nintendo Switch. Awesome. Which, boy howdy, being able to stream everything from your PC, considering I just got a fancy new computer. 
<laughs> I am excited. Like right your alley. <laughs> yeah, me too, big time. Like that would be awesome. And really, I, if Nintendo lets it happen, Sony and Microsoft are probably shaking in their boots because that's going to hurt them. You know, they're not going to ever from get. From what it sounded like, Microsoft wanted to do some <laughs> sort of like remote play type thing to have their uh, own dedicated handheld because they're they were constantly doing. They did a, a survey which was constantly talking about the Nintendo Switch in a kind of creepy oh, fashion. Yeah. So like, I think they might be thinking about this? it, but if Switch can jump on that bandwagon first, oh, they're screwed. They're yeah. dead. They're not going to catch up at that point because, I mean, especially the guy that's running, the guy that's, you know, the guy that's working on this thing, one of the developers tweeted out that apparently the Switch screen can handle a 4K game at 60 frames per second and a 1080p game at 120 frames per second capped. And they're capped amounts, so that means they must have said it like that. That's what I mean. It's not, that's, yeah, it's like maybe, I'm thinking maybe NVIDIA parts are in that thing. NVIDIA is a PC company. Maybe Nintendo's going to can put is, out 4K. Well, may, I don't know, but if maybe with an update, and maybe with uh, maybe uh, Nvidia is already planning a streaming app for it. Maybe that's why Nintendo's going to greenlight this other one because they're like, hey, it's going to be built in the system. If they want to use this third party app, okay. You know that might be but what it is be like better. for things like Netflix and other streaming services that can stream 4K. It already has the capabilities to stream 4K. That's true. Yeah, frames. that's true. Because yeah, Netflix. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, you know, that is some sneaky smart. shit, Nintendo. Oh, <laughs> That's you. smart. And they haven't, like, remember, the web browser has been locked down. This guy's been using the web browser that's built into it, which he said was HTML5, which is the good, mm-hmm. you know, the newest stuff. And it can run everything. He says he just had to, he's having to tweak it because some of the stuff is, like, locked. So I bet you that's what it is. They're probably designing Netflix and shit right now, and, and maybe even an NVIDIA game streaming app that'll stream it straight from your NVIDIA, you know, that'll be perfect. And and maybe that's why they're green lighting that. I mean, that would be awesome. I mean, Nintendo has been doing a lot more stuff like you wouldn't expect Nintendo to do, like the cross play with Microsoft. And you know, so they might be doing it. They might be going, you know. And I could from just PC. use That'd be awesome. of the browser from st- my computer streaming as opposed to you use using whatever shitty browser they want to use on the Switch. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because every time they put a browser on a console, it has to just barely work. It doesn't matter what your internet <laughs> speed is. Like, yeah. the P- one on the PS4 technically works. The one on my well, DS, by definition, does work. It goes to websites. Yeah, well, I mean, the Wii U one, though, honestly, was better than the PlayStation fucking uh, 3 one and 4 one, really. Oh, I, yeah, Wii U one I could, I could use that good. one a lot better. I used yeah, the Wii like, U one use it pretty good. to look up recipes while I was in the kitchen. Yeah, like, and I it love, worked. To everyone who thinks the Wii U is garbage, I am sorry. That was... A great machine that got mm-hmm. no support. Yeah, it really didn't. I mean, it was a good machine. Man. I mean, don't I mean, get me wrong. Son, yes, my the, son still plays it. That's his number one gaming system. He's the playing, controller, right the now. big old pad thing, looks like it's made by either um, Mattel <laughs> or Nerf. But <laughs> boy, howdy, was that thing sturdy? I, hey, drop it on. Drop it on. I've dropped that thing on the concrete floor in my kitchen. You know what I mean? With mm-hmm. just a linoleum over it, and it's fine. There's no cracks in it. The thing's hardy. Uh, yeah. Nintendo builds it. Like, I don't know if you saw that video of um, them dropping a Nintendo Switch oh, like yeah, a thousand feet up from a drone. Yeah. And yeah, the only thing that it. happened is one of the, the controller that broke the Switch's fall got broke busted to hell. Yeah. But the rest of the Switch, <laughs> the was just fine. fine. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> there was barely even a scratch on the screen. Uh-huh. I was like, what? <laughs> I think the way it's weighted is it kind of went down like a missile, and it was meant to actually hit the controller. I and think use it is it. like that. I think it is weight. It probably is weighted a lot heavier on one side. So if you were to drop it from, a, it would always turn it would to that side. It would not surprise me. Nintendo would and think like that your, and crack your controller, which you know that's forty dollars. But you know, that's by comparison uh, to like four hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'd much rather crack a controller than crack the whole damn thing. <laughs> yeah, they are they are built pretty well. I mean, there hasn't. I mean, God, I've had Nintendo systems my whole life, and. Only a couple of them ever had any kind of problems. Also, thinking about this, because I, if this does go through, I might end up getting uh, Overwatch for my PC. But Overwatch <laughs> on PC on is Switch? thirty bucks, <laughs> as opposed oh, really? to Overwatch on console, which is sixty bucks. Oh, the that's, only reason, honestly, at this point, the only reason I'm really thinking about playing a lot more, I, I play multi, um, My plan is to play multiplayer games on my console because you know that's where all my friends are. Yeah, that's that's what sucks for the most part. That's how it is with me too. I love my PC and I would love to play a bunch of multiplayer and shooters on it, but I don't have many friends on the 
games yeah. and stuff. Well, now you have <laughs> me at least. So that's, yeah, that's true. Well, you know, I used to play a lot more, and I used to be in a couple, like, whatever, groups on Steam. I'm probably still in them, but I didn't really know the people. They weren't friends mm-hmm. of mine, really. <laughs> I never played with them that much. <clears throat> and our final topic, which I guess is going to be mostly me talking, I'm going <laughs> to do a fancy slideshow. Are you ready? Slideshow, yeah. go! Do it, do it! All right. Slideshow. Now, Map can't see this, but oh, what you're seeing right now a- is my live Twitter feed. Well, live-ish. Basically, anytime something happens of note in playing Master Mode, the new mode... So why can't I see this? I can't go to Twitter and see this? No, you can go to my Twitter if you want to, and you can look at all my images. I think you're subscribed to my Twitter. Okay, well then there you go. I will look at it. But I think I've got... Since I started, I got 40-something tweets out. So, I, I've been a little busy. So if you go to Duck McGavin, D-U-C-K-M-C-G-A-V-I-N, on Twitter, little little plug there for you you'll see everything that i've been doing and for anyone who likes laughing at me every time i die i tweet it out well for the most part i at least have a counter i've missed a few of them but i kept the number up and yeah playing through master mode is a completely different game like i don't know if you remember listening to people from e3 like what was it last year right they had the big old zelda booth at e3 yeah it was last year and they were talking about, man, this game is hard. I keep dying. I can't do anything. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then I, yeah. I started up. Don't get me wrong. Game was difficult at the beginning. But yeah. it was nowhere near what I was told. And I was kind well, of disappointed in difficulty. Not in the game. First just... off, they didn't start them at the very beginning, though, Doug. They threw them right in there. They weren't at the very beginning of the game, I'm pretty sure. No, in the demo, they, they started right... them in the beginning. Really? They started them right waking up from the beginning. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, it is... I think they were expecting a normal Zelda game, though, difficulty. Yeah. Compared to Which regular Zelda, bad. yeah, Breath of the Wild is much harder. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying... It started out way harder than What a normal Master Zelda. Mode is, is effectively what I was expecting. Master okay. Mode is a stealth game. Okay. Where all, every every single enemy has been leveled up by one. So... You didn't just run up on the Lionels and whoop that ass in? Yeah, no. <laughs> Are you looking at the <laughs> Lionel like, picture yeah, on my Twitter? You're running. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't see the line of oh. picture. Where is it? I'm looking down. I'm looking. Um, it's it's down somewhere down? in there. Is there a game over? Do you after mind it? spoilers? <laughs> this is going to be a little spoilery, at least for the plateau. I haven't gotten too far yet. Uh, but I don't care. You can give it a little bit. I was walking through the plateau. I was oh, I on my it. way to try to get the doublet, <laughs> and I saw a question mark, and I was like, "Oh, hey, there's a new enemy over here." Because I just saw the white question mark, and that was I was like, "There's a new enemy. Cool. What the." Why is that a on the plateau? Why is there a Lionel on the plateau? <laughs> okay. So my first thought was to try to smack it. That didn't work. Try yeah, again. That's a bad Definitely idea. didn't work. So I was like, all right, cool. Stealth. Snuck right past it. Using like I didn't know, but apparently using grass in this game helps you with stealth. Yeah, I, knew I never that. had to, I never had to do it, so I never do. Using bushes and grass that. helps you stealth. Oh yeah. It's a my first slate where I didn't really through. die, nothing really was much of a challenge, which was the only downside. It was like, I wasn't being challenged. And now, the game says, hey, you want a challenge? Here you go. <laughs> but my biggest thing is, in a weird way, I love and hate it. I'm picking my battles. Yeah. If, I oh, see a group of, if I see a group of bokoblins that's like around a campfire and they don't have good weapons for me to take after fighting them... Since everything's so much higher level and has all the freaking health, and I'm going to go through a lot of my weapons just to fight them, I won't fight them. I will avoid them. Or oftentimes, like at nighttime, is my weapon collection time, where I will go to the <laughs> cobbler camp, steal stuff. sneak in, <laughs> grab their shit, and just walk out, not fight a damn thing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Like, I don't that know how many hilarious. times you've played through, or you, how much you remember the, on the plateau, but on the way to one of the shrines, on the way to... A, a, uh, one of the highest points on the map or on the mountain, there yeah. is a bacoblin who is. Bacoblins are the small ones, right? I'm, I want to make sure my names are right. Or are they moblins? Yeah, the little ones. No, moblins are the little moblins. ones. Bacoblins Sorry, are saying, the bigger, I'm, bigger I guys. Saying moblins. Bacoblins are yeah. the Okay, you're right. Yeah. But there is a moblin who's generally like a red or whatever, or the second highest, the second high second level color. on the. Oh, the second highest. The second, yeah, the second the color. Purple guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the second color normally, but it's yeah. a red or whatever. It's a darker color i'm colorblind mm-hmm. so they're just all colors they all hurt yeah. but um 
I snuck past him, grabbed his big old spiked Boko club and Boko shield, got the chest, and then immediately swung at him and knocked him off the cliff. Kept going. <laughs> Didn't yeah, care how much, how much cliff, he got hurt. I came back <laughs> later, picked up the crap off of his corpse because he died from gravity. This is a completely different game now. <laughs> and I love it. And it was really, Fuck. really hard until I got to the point where I realized all these new floating platforms are where I get my murder weapons. Because they, they have, a lot of the chests have weapons with durability up, which you need. Attack up, which you need, because nothing dies. And the biggest thing is, you have to be aggressive. Because if you wait for too long after smacking something, it will start to regen health. Oh, damn. And here's a question. Do mm -hmm. you get the, um, those crazy, like, superpowers after you defeat the people? They should have, like, nerfed those things, because those things you make You mean the Guardian powers? Yeah, they make oh, you I'm looking forward invincible. to actually having those, assuming I can actually get through a dungeon. Yeah, see, they shouldn't give you that one that brings you back to life, because that makes it a lot easier, especially on also, a master mode. Also, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, or if you know, but mm -hmm. something I find interesting... For all the enemies, it levels up the enemies. If an enemy can't level up, like a key, the little bats, they don't level up. Yeah. Keys are still just one shot. You just smack a key and it's dead. Okay. So everything that can level up does level up. So basically everything but a key. Yeah. The Octoroks can do it. The Boblins and the Coblins can do it. And I haven't even gotten to my first dungeon yet, and I've already... I didn't fight it because I just took a picture and left because there's no way I was going to fight that. I already f ran into a white moblin. It was just sitting on a tower. I saw a white moblin. It looked at me, shot an arrow. I was like, all right, cool. No. No, I'm not fighting you. <laughs> You're like, bye. I will literally break everything I have. Uh, that's hilarious. Like, on the Wait, plateau, I, I got into a fight with a whole bunch of moblins, and this was before I got to the realization that I was going to burn everything in every fight I did. I went through, because I had a full weapons, I went through, I believe, like, four sticks, a club, all my bows, all my arrows, just to kill, like, five enemies. Good lord. Okay. Eventually, like, now where I am now, it's taking less, and I've got armor, I'm taking less damage, which is nice. Cool. Also, those floating platforms, I, I don't know if it's a glitch or whatever, but... Well, not this, but you can actually use your leaf to move the floating platforms. If you want to move it any direction you want. And as far as I know, there's no limit to how far you can move it. The only downside is whenever you swing your leaf, for some odd reason, it hits the platform and ruins the durability and your leaf will break, which sucks. <laughs> so that, might be a, that might be a glitch and it might need to be patched. Yeah. But overall, just, just mess with you. everything about hard <laughs> mode. Just like I was worried that just hard mode is going to be like, oh, it's harder, blah, blah, blah. But... It changed the way I play the game completely. Cool. You haven't got any of the masks or anything? Because I, I heard they don't give you these things. You have to find them. Yeah. Well, the interesting thing about the masks is like, basically yeah. they just give you this list of um, quests that have an EX on something. them. And yeah. you have to go to on the – you'll get a marker to go to where a journal is. You have to find the journal, read the mm -hmm. journal, and it'll be like, there is something in this a mysterious prison. Or do you mind me – paraphrasing the excerpt for the one mask that I did find because it was the first one no, that I no, went for was fine. the um, Korok mask. Mm -hmm. And it told me um, it's in a hollowed out tree in a forest where you will get lost. Mm -hmm. And I was I like, where that is. I know where that is. <laughs> yeah, me too. And I hate that place. So I, <laughs> I was like one of the first yeah. places I went to. I went through the entire place, got to spoilers, the Deku tree, and... I looked all up inside him, because that's not creepy. I looked up in his head, because that's not creepy. And it wasn't there. I was like, oh no. It's actually <laughs> in the Lost Woods. It's in one of those trees. Mm -hmm. Oh man. So I went back and just looked around, looked around, looked around. Then I realized, it's in a chest, isn't it? So I use my magnesis, start looking around. I see a glimmer of yellow. I'm like, yes! Sonar! <laughs> I found you! So and nice. I have not really taken that Korok mask except for when I'm in combat since. And boy, howdy, do I find all the all the Korok seeds because they are everywhere. <laughs> I bet. Like I was on my way to um the the scientist lady who's like a hundred years old but looks like a child, and I found an, the area right before there where there's a bunch of, of woods and whatever and uh, um a little cabin, a little hunting cabin. 
I found three different Korok seeds, and one of them you have to, I didn't even know about. I've never even done this, where you have to go around this nice little circle. You can go on horseback and shoot a whole bunch of um, signposts that have targets on them. And then there's this oh, little yeah, hunting yeah. cabin where a balloon will appear above it. You shoot the balloon. Ah, Korok seed. Never done I did that, that before. One. I've never done I it. I did that one. What's well, funny, because I saw those little targets. I was like, what the fuck? I'm going to shoot these damn targets. <laughs> I literally you know, rode I just, I was like, yeah. right past them like they didn't exist my first time. And I started looking for them. Like, I found one on the road. And I was like, oh, I'm going to look around here. And I started looking around the cabin. I found it. And I was like, yes. I knew and the nice shit. thing about the mask is it doesn't, like, straight up drag you to it. It has a pretty big range. So it'll be like... Somewhere in this general area, if you do something, you will get a Korok seed. It's not like, hey, go pinpoint right here. This is where it doesn't get any, it doesn't shake any better. It doesn't sparkle any louder. It also makes the Korok sound, which is kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, sorry. It works. I love, I love that the even, little jingle with, even with the thing like that. Like the little jingle they make, kind of. Um, no, it just like makes like a kind of like a Korok giggle. Oh, well, well. The mask will okay. giggle at you and shake. It's creepy, but it's cool. I like it. But I love that even when they give you something that's kind of hand-holdy, it's not really holding your hand. It's just giving you, like, because they realize, like, there's 900 of these mother huggers. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that I spent basically, like, I, I don't want to admit to it, but I think I spent, like, almost an hour in this one area looking for Korok seeds. <laughs> Mostly because of that sign thing, because I missed one goddamn sign, and I was just running around, and then I ended up climbing up a mountain, because... I honestly didn't know that the signs were the thing, and the Korok mask mm -hmm. got really confused. So I yeah. climbed up my mountain, I activated the tower that happened to be there, I fought some of the Coblins and Moblins, and I didn't, because I'd used all my fire arrows trying to shoot acorns that were coming out of trees for another Korok thing. Because I, I didn't have regular arrows, all I had was fire arrows and bomb arrows, and I was holding on to them bomb arrows. For dear life. Right. Speaking of, arrows, all the platforms... Hmm? Are elemental arrows, whether it's lightning arrows or bomb arrows Shit. or bomb arrows or fire arrows or. Bomb I mean, I was arrows. always, I'm always pretty good about keeping my arrow supply up. I try to buy them every time I see. Yeah, arrows. I never I buy them. them. I, I am buy cheap. The shit I am a cheap oh, I, mofo. I buy the shit out of arrows. I just bought the house too, by the way. Oh, that's You're good. About the house. Yeah, I got my house. My biggest <laughs> thing is I'm. I know I'm going to have to save up for the final ferry. I don't know if you know how much it costs. Oh, I don't know how much is she. You'll find out. Bitch. <laughs> twenty thousand. It's either twenty or ten thousand. I don't remember. Yeah, I want to say it's ten thousand. Damn, that's a lot there. Also, a nice adorable thing. Whenever you land on a um, one of those Octorok platforms, the Octoroks freak out a bit. They're like, "Oh God, <laughs> what's happening?" They'll stare at you like, "I can't shoot him. I don't know what to do. What do I do?" Because the Octoroks have to go underwater, grab some mud or dirt or rock, come up and out and shoot it at you. But if they can't do that. They're just floating up there with nothing in their face. <laughs> just your, your, their fate is in your hands. Oh, and a nice little thing that you'll see, dear viewer, is in the bottom left, there is a nice little watermark from the game saying, hey, this is master mode. Everything that people see when you share it with them will let them know, hey, you're hardcore. <laughs> or at least you played on the hardcore mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't necessarily have to be hardcore. I think you have to be hardcore to at least get off the plateau. <laughs> yeah. Or be like me and skip a lot of it. There were so many yeah. fights where it was like, yeah, no. I did, however, sick some bees on some moblins because it was daytime. I was like, I want their weapons, but I don't want to fight them. So I shot down a beehive. It chased them off. Well, that's always fun. And I went yeah. and grabbed their shit. Kept on going. I don't Anytime fight you things. can hit them with a beehive. Anytime awesome. that I can avoid a fight, generally I do. Yeah. Well, you know, with the hard mode, you just need to start. You know, you're saying that it's harder and you want to avoid fights, but you can use the boulders and stuff a lot more and stuff yeah. that you're fighting and killing people, but you don't really have to do much. That is one thing. Like, my biggest problem is, like, if you roll <laughs> a boulder onto them, you have to be immediately on them after that boulder hits them because they will heal back very quickly. That healing mechanic starts very fast. Yeah. Well, you know, if you ride the boulders, you get like coins and stuff as you kill them. Wait, what? I did not know that. You get rupees <laughs> yes. for riding boulders? Yes, you get rupees for riding boulders and killing people, yeah. <laughs> there's right, whole, like, it, there's videos, there's videos of people like, like getting crazy amounts of rupees, like lining it up. And <laughs> I think one of the things yeah. I'm super excited about, I have no idea where it is, but on the front of the um, 
art for this DLC is that golden Lionel. And I can't wait to find that thing and probably get yeah, murdered. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise yeah, me if it was actually in the sword trials. Like, if that was the final <laughs> fucking level. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I don't want to. That sounds horrible. Did you ever uh, did you ever try building a uh, hot air balloon for yourself, too? So you can do that, too? Um, not a hot air balloon, but I did I do like a that. hot air minecart. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did one with like a log and some some of the balloons, and I was riding the log for a little bit. It was funny. Yeah. It's not like you... Gary's mod. <laughs> Gary's mod Zelda. <laughs> uh, if only had a gravity gun. Good. Get... <laughs> but yeah, in this DLC, there is the um the Phantom set. Which is armor, I believe it gives you attack up. I don't know if it's upgradable or not yet, but it gives you attack up. And from what its initial stats are, if it is upgradable, then it will be the strongest set in the game. Flat out. Okay. Which is pretty cool. Then you have um, Midna's Mask, which I don't super remember what it does. Can't remember. Yeah. But um, then you have Majora's Mask, which basically for most of the basic Moblins with Coblins, they won't attack you if you walk up to them and don't fight them. You can just walk right past them. So I, whenever I can, I'm probably going to see if I can get that. And I can just avoid a lot of fights like that. Hopefully. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. And then you have Tingle's outfit, which, once again, that will make that... Now we have three outfits that make you faster at night. Whoa. <laughs> hey, man, you got to be fast at night. Especially in the, like you said, in the Master Whoa. Mode, I guess. I need to sneak more at night, man, you know? <laughs> I don't know if my woo was sarcastic enough for you, so let me try one more time. Nah, it wasn't. I'm just, you see, I'm, uh, I'm gonna defend Nintendo to, the, to, the, to my death, Doc. To my death. I love Nintendo, but I'm always gonna be cynical about their stuff, because they sometimes just... There was no... There, I don't know what I... Like, I was expecting, like, Tingle's outfit. Like, you remember in Majora's Mask, right? Where the first time you meet Tingle, he's up in a balloon or a little red balloon was just floating up I, that's what i wanted tingles outfit to do just let you float i have to float high <laughs> just let me float yeah. above and then pop my balloon and then just do a drop attack on shit and that's what i wanted Jesus. that would have been cool instead what does it do nothing it, it do? makes you move faster at night that is the third oh, set because oh, the, oh. the first one is the sheikah what's well, the first one you can prop you, you usually get is the sheikah set the little yeah. ninja set and then dark link's outfit spoilers Dark Link's <laughs> outfit um, allows you to move fast at night. I heard about that scene. <laughs> and, um, and now this. So you have three sets that will allow you to move fast at night. Well, Whoa. You know, you'll definitely move fast at night. <laughs> yes. Yes, you will. And, I, <laughs> and then finally is the Korok mask, which in my opinion is probably the best thing because there are 900 god dang Korok seeds. And I'm going to see yeah, if I can find ridiculous. all of them without a guide. I'll probably I give up. I have like 60. So I can't even imagine trying to get all of them. On my main account, I think I have like 100 and something. Not even close to 200. Yeah. Maybe I'm in close to 200. I have no idea. Honestly, actually, I can probably check. But, um, yeah. I am super excited. To just keep playing this. Because like I, I was worried like I was just going to... Be like, ah, oh, this is just the same game. Ah, I'm just doing the same thing, but everything hurts more. Ah, uh, no. Like, I'm going to have to actually have to get good at parrying and dodging because I really didn't use that mechanic that much unless the game forced me to. Yeah, it's I true. would just move well, I mean, out of it's... the way, poke, poke, move out of the way, poke, poke. It's fun to get that that perfect dodge though, and yeah. get that like that real fast that special attack, whatever it's called. Yeah. Now I'm not sure. Does it does your durability go down less? When you go into slow mo, or does it just get, allow you to hit more? I just think it allows you to hit more just in that yeah. one instance. But yeah, I don't think it goes down any less. But yeah, uh, just I've broken so many weapons. I think I'm on twelve oh, deaths, yeah. twelve or thirteen. Yeah, it said twelve on your Twitter. Yeah. Uh, okay. So many not deaths. Bad, not bad. But yeah, that's the DLC. Hopefully, next time we do a bites, you'll have some experience, and we'll be able to hear. <laughs> How good you've done. Hopefully you'll do better than I did, because... <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I might. I might not. Who knows? Once I realized Depends exactly how I'm hard playing. it was, I snuck up... The sec the first book, Coblin, I barely beat. I hit him with some pots, and eventually he died. 
But um, I hit him with the pot. Damn, you'll be. Well, I ran past him because I knew there was going to be a bow, (laughs) and I grabbed the pots and I threw them at him. I grabbed the bow, I grabbed the arrows off the ground, shoot him in the face a bunch, and I'm like, yeah, I killed him. And then the next bacoblin, I took his club, snuck up on the bacoblin, hit him with the sneak attack, and then just wailed on him, broke the freaking club, picked up (laughs) his club that I knocked off of his corpse, and just kept smacking and broke that club right on his face. Like, oh crap. I just t- killed two bacoblins and I have no weapons anymore. Oh, well, that's going to that's gonna be the biggest challenge is figuring out what fights are actually worth it. Yeah, I mean, it sounds it sounds uh sounds fun for sure. I'm definitely gonna be playing it. Yeah. Splatoon comes out soon, dude, doesn't it? Uh, it should come out this month, I believe, July, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I spent too much money. I'm not getting that shit. Yeah, probably not right off the bat, yeah. I would say I'll get it when it gets a price drop, but Nintendo doesn't understand those words. it won't be one of those, but, you know. Like, I so badly want Nintendo to do something like PlayStation Plus. I mean, technically they are, but, like, with their their later games. But, unfortunately, they don't make enough of them. Yeah. Like, even if it was, like, just once a year, I got something like a Zelda or a Mario or a Splatoon or an ARMS or one of these games. Just, like, once a year, hey, Nintendo's like, hey, you've supported us, so we'll give you something nice. Yeah. Well, I think Nintendo, I think, honestly, I think they're going to go, like, they're going to do kind of like that with the with the Super Nintendo games and NES games. And I think it's only because of those retro things they're doing. Now they, they got those out, so they're like, okay, well, we're already selling them in massive. So we're just going to give them out as like a bonus to your subscription. But guess what? We're going to have Nintendo 64 games still for sale. We're going to have GameCube games now for sale. We're going to have Wii say, games the thing that for sale. The most devious, yeah, that's the what Super they're gonna NES do. Classic. Yeah. Apparently, it's manufacturing and sell run is supposed to go right up until New Year. You know what happens around New Year's? What's that? We get Nintendo's um, online service where we get to get those yeah. retro games through the Switch. Yeah, isn't that so funny? I'm telling you. So they're going to stop production yeah. right then. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's something sounds like something Nintendo would do, honestly, because I think I, I think that's those are going to be the free games. You know what I mean? Yeah. They've already said that, yeah, we're going to get free games every month, NES games. I guarantee they're going to expand that to Super NES. And then they're going to start charging for the. They're going to be like, but you can get GameCube games now. And you can get Wii games because you know they're going to they're going to make bank off Wii games. Because mm-hmm. think of all the motion control games they couldn't sell for really, you know that they could resell now for that that, that were real popular. They'd do that shit in a heartbeat for ten dollar Wii games. They'd be, they're going to do it. They got the little Joy Cons that would work just like a Wiimote. They're going to do I it. I wish Nintendo would find a way to make like cheap micro SD cards because I want to get like a two fifty gig or something. But you know. Yeah, I'm gonna get a big one too. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till they go. As of right now, my regular internal drive is just fine. Yeah, me too. I mean, I'm using cartridges mostly, and I've only gotten a a couple small indie type games, you know, on the system. So it's not a big deal for me. Excuse me. Yeah, I think we're just about done. For all those watching. If you do play Zelda, let us know how things are going. Have you tried Master Quest? I haven't even done the trials because I'm waiting to do these Master Trials. There's 45 levels. We didn't talk about that. 45 levels of Master Trials in mm-hmm. order to make your sword the best that it can be. And I'm the first time I'm going to do it, it's going to be on hard mode. And I'm super excited. Let us know. Have you done it? Have you already done it on hard mode? Are you that ridiculous? <laughs> Will Duck beat the speed run record? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. I'm going to take my time. <laughs> I might be on, beat the be record the for fighting the least amount of things. Because <laughs> as it stands, like right now, I think I I'm, I just got to that the, the tiny lady or whatever. Mm. I've killed less than 10 things. Well, let's find somebody that wants to try to do Master Mode without killing anybody but Ganon. See if they can do it. Well, they'd have to kill the, all the guardian, the guardian things as well. Because well, you could go you, straight to Ganon. Yeah, if you go straight to Ganon, you don't fight Ganon immediately, though. Well, sure. if you go to Ganon, it'll make you fight all four guardians. Oh, okay, gotcha. Which is pretty cool. Well, and people do do yeah. that. Yeah. Like the speedrunners, if you if you ever watch any of the speedrunners that are like under an hour, 
Yeah. They basically just get all the shrines, get the paraglider, bolt to Ganon. <laughs> it is a pleasure to watch. It is crazy. Yeah. I've seen speedruns on, like, Ocarina of Time and stuff yeah. before. Like, insane speedruns. They had a glitch, though, on that one. They had You had to do the glitch to get through the game that quick. I think they my, do it in, like, half hour. They jump through the wall at one point. My like favorite speedrunners have Ganon. always been the Mario 64, where they just basically break the game. They're not even playing yeah, Mario one. 64. They're playing no, something they're completely different. through the wall at one time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you gotta, like, jump it just perfectly through the wall. You jump, like, through half the game. <laughs> Like watching speedrunners play, it's like they're just, they they're just playing different games. Yeah, that's true. It's crazy. Yeah. But going back into Zelda, this game is just so colorful and pretty. It doesn't have to be the most high def game. It's just Nintendo knows how to make a game that is always fun, full of character, full of life, or I guess in master mode, full of death. It's just <laughs> wonderful. And one of the images from my Twitter, one of them is just like not again from the one trial where you have to effectively play golf and you have to hit a ball into a hole and then you can do, there's an optional one right past that it one was where easy. you can yeah, do no it problem. no there's two parts of it i don't know if you did the second part the second part we have to hit it some for some weird angle i just flat out skipped. I was like no i'm not doing that and I, left. <laughs> I got my orb and left that's funny. i don't need your optional garbage no nah. hey you got a chest for that optional garbage yes a chest which, Whatever is whatever's in that chest will break in five hits. Uh, but it might be like a flame sword or something, man. It's Which something will good. still break in five hits. I'll get another flame sword. And I will have an hour missing a with a giant rupee? ball hammer. A golden rupee? Golden rupee is what, like 300? Yeah, it's not worth it. I can just throw, throw yeah. snowballs at moose pins. Yeah, that's funny. But anyway... We've been Nintendo Bytes. This has been Map Killer. Yeah, man. Uh, catch me at Map Killer FPSV on YouTube and uh, Map Killer on Twitter and Twitch. Uh, thanks for uh, listening to our little Nintendo chat. See y'all next time. And I have been your moderator, your friend, your compadre, Duck McGavin, D U C K M C G A V I N. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. I've been uploading a heck of a lot to Twitter. I'm going to be doing a prompto stream hopefully tomorrow. I'm kind of busy as of late. A lot of shit going on. But yeah. Appreciate your patronage. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. And yeah. We'll see you when Nintendo sends us our next little bite. <laughs> Check y'all later.